and shalom, all glorification, honor, and praise is due only unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yavashai, Bahashem Rechachakodash. Double honors to the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the bishops and elders who rule well, and salutations to the elect of Yashar Rava, the Bayath Shah Dawada, which is the house of David. I'm Shamar Moth, back with another prophecy in short. Today is Wednesday, December the 20th, 2023, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. And they're coming quickly. All right. <clears throat> this is off the uh, metro.co.uk webpage. And you see the headline right there. Biblical plague of frogs, toads, and tadpoles causes multi-car pileup. So we're in a time of, you know, the, the plagues, you know, coming upon this earth, all right? And they're going to hit America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, the hardest, all right? Just like they hit those ancient Egyptians, those Hamites, all right, back during the time of Moses, all right? Those plagues are repeating themselves, all right? That which was then is now. So I'm going to get into this real quick. Got a few precepts lined up. We're going to edify. This was originally published on the 18th of December. All right. Updated today. A biblical plague of toads, frogs, and tadpoles wreaked havoc in a Honduras city, even causing a multi-car pileup. And there's a lot of Jake down there, you know, the northern kingdom, a lot of Zebulonites. In Honduras, all right. So, the Lord is plaguing you, unrepentant, you know, two thirds Israelites, man. All right, two thirds of you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, all right, and Israelite foreigners are going to feel these plagues the hardest during the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, right now we're just in the beginning of sorrows, but you know. As the days, weeks, and months <clears throat> go by, you know, these plagues are going to, going to become so likely more and more intense. All right. As Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah continues to visit the world which he made. All right. It says, The amphibians took over the streets and homes of Coloma after heavy rain fell in the area, causing drains to overflow and puddles to form. The outbreak started on December the 3rd and according to locals continued for at least three days. At one point, a pickup truck lost control on the slime left behind and caused a pileup involving at least five vehicles, including a tanker, two lorries, and a motorbike that was left burnt to a crisp. Right, man. Let's read about it in Exodus 8. In chapter 1, and the Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh. All right, modern day Pharaoh is Esau. All right, the so called white man, beginning with his elites. All right, the international banking family. It says, Go unto Pharaoh and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Let my people go, that they may serve me. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs. And again, you Israelites, all right, uh, wherever you are, all right, because our people are scattered into the four corners of the earth, okay, you're going to feel these, your judgments, the hardest, man, okay, you have to feel death by pain, that's why it's imperative that if you're listening to this and you have not already done so, that's why it's imperative to repent, okay, repent, come back to the Lord, all right, it says, Verse 3, and the river shall bring forth frogs abundantly, and it shall go up and come into thine house, and into thy bedchamber, and upon thy bed, and into the house of thy servants, and upon thy people, and into thine ovens, and into thy kneading troughs. And the frogs shall come up both on thee, and upon thy people, and upon all thy servants. All right. Second Ezra. Chapter 
chapter 15 and verse 10, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Right. Two-thirds, again, keep reiterating this because it's biblical prophecy. Two-thirds of our people are being led as a flock to the slaughter. Okay. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Now it's talking about this modern-day Egypt we're in, which is America. Okay. It says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. See? Proven that this is talking about you know, Babylon and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, verse 12, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Okay, so he's plaguing your people, man. Alright? Some of the people caught up back to the article in the crash had to be taken to a hospital in the nearby city of San Pedro Sula. Several people filmed the creatures swarming the area, including one man who said, This scares me. It looks more like the plagues of Egypt. The reason he's saying that is because that was an Israelite. Okay, again, you got Zebulonites in Honduras, you know, and, and you, you, you probably got a, a good bit of J a Jake. You know, you probably got a good bit of Judah. All right. See, our, our people have a, 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 a zeal for the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, but it's not according to knowledge. Okay. So that was a Jake that said that. And he, and you know what? He should be scared. He should be scared if he hasn't, you know, returned to the Lord. All right. If he has not repented. All right. Because, again, these plagues, are, they're going to be felt the hardest in America. Okay, but you jakes in other areas of the world, you know, you, they they going to come upon you, man. Being the enemies of the Lord right now. So that's it, just a quick video. Yeah, prophecies are definitely speaking, you know. Habakkuk chapter, chapter 2, you know. The vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And that's where we are. We're at the end. All right, we're at the end of Esau's rule and reign in the earth. All right. Pursuant to uh, Second Ezra, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse, right where it says Esau is the end of the world or the end of his age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, so you know our Lord and Savior Yahusha said it best. All right, and I'm gonna finish it with um the Book of Mark, chapter uh, one verse seven. Fuck you. All right, this is the book of Mark, chapter 1, <clears throat> verse 14. Now, after that, John was put in prison, and Yahweh came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh, and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. That's the time we're in right now. All right, it said, Repent ye, or Slaki, he said rather, Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Yeah, repent, come back, because you're running out of time. All right, time is clearly of the essence. All right, Lord willing, use that if I do the spirit. With that, I want to say shalom, I'm on to the next video.